The UN Special Rapporteur visited Kenya between the 16th and the 25th of February this year to look into the alleged unlawful killings and his final report tabled before the UN Human Rights Council won't make any good reading for the government. Alston simply concludes that the police executed and still continue to execute people. Kenyan police are a law unto themselves and they kill often with impunity. The report dated the 26th of May calls for the immediate sacking of Police Commissioner Major General Hussein Ali for allegedly presiding over a regime of extrajudicial killings. It further calls for the disbandment of alleged police death squads and an independent inquiry be established to investigate their operations. The Attorney General is not spared either. The report recommends that Amos Wako should resign in order to restore public trust to the office and end impunity. In addition, it recommends that prosecutorial powers currently vested in the office of the Attorney General should be taken to an independent department of public prosecutions. The fact that they didn't even contemplate the possibility that the post-election violence problems could be dealt with effectively by the existing court system. And on the judiciary, the UN Special Rapporteur's report recommends a radical surgery that would see most of the current serving judges edged out. He says this is the only way that corruption and incompetence would end in the judiciary. Professor Alston maintains that a special tribunal to try post-election violence suspects as recommended in the WACU report should be in place but also wants the International Criminal Court to commence its own independent investigations on the post-election violence. The report also condemned the killings of two human rights activists, Oscar Kingara and Paul Oulu in March. The two were actively involved in a campaign against alleged executions by the police and Professor Alston wants the government to allow the assistance of foreign agencies like the FBI and the Scotland Yard to investigate the murders. And the report concludes the warning to the Kenyan government to either acknowledge and tackle the rampant cases of abuse of human rights or risk facing another episode of breakdown of law and order in a scale larger than the one witnessed in the aftermath of the 2007 general election. Sheila Sindel, Citizen TV.